Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're back in the cottage. I say we because I've got another pair of hands helping me today. So without further ado, some of you will recognise him, of course. It's Tom, my son. Hi uh, mate. Hi mate, how's it going? All right, Hello yeah. everyone. Yeah, Tom's been drafted in today. He's took a little break from work to help yeah, me. From the, yeah, from the day job, from yeah. selling houses. Um, so yeah, Dad, you've got a little bit of a problem, haven't you, at the minute? Yeah, nothing too major, but I twisted my ankle yesterday coming down the stairs inside the cottage, so I'm not that nimble. So, yep, so um, Tom's the extra pair of hands and a pair of legs as well. I'm the, the, the apprentice, yeah, I've got. <laughs> I'm the apprentice, aren't I? Yeah, you will yeah. be today, mate. So, yeah, let's just get started and uh, head okay. on into the cottage. Looking forward to it. Safety equipment. Okay, yeah. Right, I've got mine because I know what the day's going to hold. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mate, let's go in the cottage. Now, initially, we was going to be digging the floor out, we was going to continue with digging the floor out, but obviously I'm not too nimble on my feet at the moment, so it's going to be plan B. Uh, I think we'll head upstairs, we'll take a look up there what we're yeah. going to do. We was going to be using, oh you were, this yeah, boy, we go. Yeah. and the other bigger one. But uh, yeah, well, you know, we'll come back to that another day, but for this yeah. one, we're going to head on upstairs. Isn't this what you use to uh, put the windows in, like make the hole in the roof for the window? God, <laughs> see what I'm working with. <laughs> Gonna be a long day. Wow. Okay, Tom, come over this way. I think we're gonna work in this area. Okay. First, we'll have a little sweep up. Don't wanna be tripping over again at anything. So yeah. we're gonna work on this section here. Do a little bit of lime. Rendering. Line render, okay. We've got some stonework to go in under this hole here. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, first things first, we get some dust masks on and have a good sweep okay. out. Okay. Okay, ready for work. Ready to go. Right, so we'll have a quick sweep yep. up and then we'll get some lime mixed up in a bucket. Okay. this up with some stone bricks where we've got we're going to fill it all up with mortar as well lime mortar completely close this off so that we can then render the face oh yeah that's something I'll probably do sitting down take the weight off me foot a little bit so very similar to what we've done in this section although I haven't got many bricks don't think I've got any left actually um, so yeah what we'll probably do is just use stone you know we'll lay them in there fill that up and this is another area that can be uh, prepared for render. Yep, I mean the brick and the stone isn't going to be visible afterwards, is it? No, it's going to be rendered so. for a start and then this either side of the chimney breast yep. is going to be stud work with insulation. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to leave this exposed. It's going to have another layer of lime over the top. A finishing touch. Yeah, finishing coat. And uh, it's nice and solid and secure now. You know, when I think back to how it was when I first started, it was in a very precarious yeah, way. Yeah, you've done, you know, one, you've worked wonders really, haven't you? Yeah, thanks mate. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's lots of stuff. Structural stuff. Structural stuff, yeah, before you can actually start getting yeah. into the renovation sort of I work. I mean, so. from what I've, I know, it's pretty easy to just do a bit of stud walling in it and do the yeah, finishing yeah, touches, yeah, yeah. throwing money at it and just, you know, putting all stuff in. This yeah. is the hard work. You have to have your thinking cap on when you're dealing with these yeah. buildings. You have to be sympathetic as well. It's too easy just to rip everything out, lose all the character. Like I said before, that's not me, so yeah. Try and illustrate, you know, what I'm doing as I go along, keeping the uh, originality where I can. Okay, now normally, Tom, what we'd do, we'd put some dry sand in yeah. and dry lime powder, not wet at that stage, and thoroughly mix it all together. Now normally I've got a, a little stash of dry sand inside, but because I plan to dig out the floor, I've took it out of there, so we're going to have to use wet sand, wet but sand it won't matter too much for the volume that we're going to use. So, yeah, we're using um, one and two and a half mix, which is one lime and two and a half sand thereabouts. Yeah. You know, so that's perfectly fine for what we need. So, grab yourself a shovel and uh, okay, I'll look for one. I'll locate the lime. OK, 
Okay, Tom, if you can mix this up for us, please, mate. Okay. Dry mix. The sand wasn't too bad. So what's this? A mixture of lime and sand? Lime and sand, yeah. You can always use lemon as well, can't you, if you haven't got any lime? Oh, my God. <laughs> Gonna be one of them days, is it? Hang on a minute. Haven't you got an electric mixer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't learn with an electric mixer. I had to do it manually. Old school. We need to help you now. Yeah. <laughs> Very important to mix it thoroughly for quite a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, keep going mate. Okay, now pour part of that mixture back into the empty bucket please. Okay. So what's that for again? We well, hold back a bit of the mixture because we're going to add water to the majority of the mix. Yeah. And then if we've put slightly too much in, we've got a little bit extra to add to it to get where we want to be. That'll yeah, do. that'll do mate. Give it a mix first. Yeah. You can always add, you can't take away. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit wetter than we need, so add a little bit of that powder to it. Yep. Tell me when. When? It's probably a little bit wetter than I'd normally make it on, but because I want to pour it into the voids and the crevices up there, I want it a little bit wet, so oh, okay. I think that'll be fine, mate. Kind of like... Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's get it upstairs. Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do, Tom, these stones here that have sort of tumbled down, take these out. Yeah. We're going to soak them first. Okay. It's too dry to suck the moisture out of the lime. Okay. And then we want to build this area up and then slowly work our way up. We'll get as much lime, it's nice and wet, it'll go in all the voids into here as possible and sort of just come along here. Got it. Yeah, got it? Yeah, right. strengthen the... Yeah, strengthen this area up. Yeah. I'm going to grab myself a chair. <laughs> Put your feet up. Sit there and watch you. Okay. <laughs> this is good, I'll get used to this. And after a new apprentice for years. So next time we need to soak all those stones yep. with the pump. There we go. Can you see everything okay there? Yeah, that's fine. Give it a good soak. Nice and wet. Right in there. I'm going to lift them out in a moment so you can give it another soak. Yeah. So now put them to one side. Yeah. There you go. Okay, give it another soak in there, Tom. Yeah. It's nice and wet. Okay, Tom, if you can go and grab some old terracotta tiles, and what okay. we do, we kind of shut at the bottom section of it so it don't all flow out, and then uh, we'll start adding the stones. So okay. if you go and grab yeah. some of them for us, okay. that'd be great. This one, maybe. Yep. Any old broken ones. Yeah, it's all broken, isn't they? Yeah, it's all broken. So a quick clean off, Tom, make sure there's no mossy bits on there, a little spray, and get those spray laid in. Yeah. yeah. Let's get you a wire brush. Start building it up with some stone kick. Don't go too high. Don't go too high. Okay. Yeah. Bit. Gotcha. So a bit more mortar. Don't matter if you put too much; it'll just run down. Yeah. Now start putting some bigger stones on. Yeah. Okay. Use the line of the wall as yeah. you go up. So when you build your next level, you've got to bridge the the joins. Yeah. Sort of. So it's interlocking. Yeah. Okay. So maybe a little bit more. Just run the trowel upside down above it so it forces it in from above. Yeah, like that. But don't, not too hard. Not too don't hard. Don't want to lose okay. it. That's it, yeah. and then leave it. I know, call in when I want to retire. <laughs> How about that? Oh, you've done your apprenticeship now. Fully trained. Yeah. 
I'll write your ticket out this afternoon. Alright. <laughs> Check for a level here, I'll get you a straight edge. So we've just got to make sure we're not sticking out further than that, that's our guide up. Which we're fine. Okay, so before I go out and make a, a mix, should we have a cup of tea? Okay mate, I'll get that kettle yeah, on. Get the kettle on, I'll get to it. Yep. So while we've been outside working in the cottage, this little bird has found himself trapped in the kitchen. So luckily the cats weren't about. I've opened the windows for him. Looks like a what we call a great tit in the UK. In America, it's called a titmouse. So hopefully we can coax him out. Very friendly. They normally come on the windowsill just there and eat seeds and bread and such. So hello little fella. Here we go. Ooh. Right, so he's landed there. Maybe if I come this side. You can get the message, because he did fly into the window a little bit. Come on. Come on, there we go. <laughs> and he was off like that. What was all the commotion? Well, it was a great tit stuck in the, stuck in the kitchen. Didn't I tell little you? Bird. We've got yeah. a pet bird. Yeah, I mean, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Got the uh, sort of green, blue and yellow colour. Yeah, they often come and sit on the windowsill. Yeah, we feed them there, so... Uh, peck at the window, they ain't got no bread there, yeah. so... Yeah, he must have got in. Yeah. That's better, after a nice cup of tea. Now I was going to put the cats out in their run, they absolutely love it. Check out the previous video if you haven't already. Built a nice enclosure for them, lots of things to jump about on. There's a few new additions actually, that we've put in there since the last video. But uh, we'll share that a bit later maybe. Okay, right, let's get back into the cottage, continue with the stonework. Oh, lasted foot. You know, I just come down the stairs awkwardly and uh, yeah, it's a little bit painful, but get some ice on it later. I'm sure I'll be okay. Wish I would say the same for the weather. And talking of the stairs, me and Tom were having a little discussion about this earlier. I said there's quite a few challenges with the way I want to put the stairs in. If I wanted them coming this way, I've got you know, the door area there, which you know, it's not quite wide enough. And then when we come to this side, we've got the kitchen starting there, so I'm limited as to how I can configure this. I've not done any major measurements yet, it's just uh, casting my eye over it. But Obviously, I don't want to come up that way because we're coming up into the sort of apex where it is situated at the moment. Tom came up with a suggestion, maybe a spiral staircase. So I may look into that. Certainly not what I originally had planned for the area, but it would solve quite a few issues. Ah, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to show you. While I was in England, I picked up these. I searched high and low in France for these, but I eventually found them in England. Now, they're not exactly what I wanted, but they're pretty close. They're just faux or dummy hinges. And what they'll do, they'll go on front of the new door like so. One there, and one there. So they were 20, 20 for the pair, I think. Nice fleur de lis. These come off of an old original door, so yeah, they're not reproduction. They are original. So once I get this floor area all dug out, I can start thinking about the door then. Because that's what governs this area, is the height, the threshold of the door. So we've got to dig down, sort the levels out for our framework, and then uh, I can address the door issue. Like I said, I did plan to get this area dug out today, but you know, sod's law and all that yeah, tweaks me ankle a little bit, but never mind, we'll get over that. But yeah, that's that's definitely an area that we need to sort out is this floor space here. And I can start getting some measurements, figuring out the stairs. So yeah, maybe a spiral, you know, 
it would solve, like I say, a lot of issues. So I need to, when I get to the top, come out in the right space up above and down below with the door and the kitchen. Yeah, I think that, that might be okay. I'll look at some designs and maybe sort something out myself. I can't do none of that until I sort out the floor levels. Right, let's get back upstairs. Strike it off against the face of the stone. Like that. Yeah, get a bit more in that in it. Put some over the, the back, back before there, you put yeah. the yeah. face stone. You've got to build the back, back part up first. Plenty of mortar in now. Something like that, yeah. Don't be shy. Okay, you've done a good job there, mate. You've infilled the area that we needed. So we'll let that go off. Okay, yep. So, like I say, if you start messing about with a trowel and moving it, yeah. it'll just work its way to the face and it's frustrating. So. It is, yeah, I kind of, uh, <laughs> you, yeah, you, you do have to that. keep telling me, sort of just leave it, leave it, stop playing around with it. Yeah. So I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, hopefully it holds and... Uh, yeah, once it starts it's setting, enough, we'll give it another hour or so, then we'll strike the mortar in with the trowel like, into the joints. Yeah, A little okay. bit, so it sort of firms up the face of it. Sure. And then uh, maybe we'll start on... Sort of yeah, okay. I'll just give it a quick spray. So, right, yeah, let's get set up with that then. Let's give it another, another spray. We're gonna work in this area, spray around it as well. Onto there like that, Tom. Yeah, hold it there. You can sort of work it into all the voids and the crevices, and then after, just push it in. Okay. Sort of go like that, and then straight up. push it in hard so into the joints with a bit of force. Don't play about it too much. Just up and in. Yeah. Like that. That's it. That's fine. Pull those top steps in. Yeah. Sort of in there. Strike it in nice and yeah. Firm. Be handy. You know. Move to the left. On white. Yeah. Sort of there, look like that. Yeah. Bit, yeah. I don't really see much of this bit in there. No. That's it. Yeah. Do I work up and then down? Well, just, yeah, you can work like that. That's it. Yeah. Don't know, don't push it down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oops. yeah, you've done a really good job there, Tom. And just simply afterwards, just firm it in. Yeah. So we're going to stud work the wall anyway and uh, dry line it. So yeah, we'll just get another mix going. We Finish won't go off. right up to where we've done because that needs to firm up first. But we certainly do just below it. So another bucket of uh, of lime, that'd be yep. great. Okay. And then we can start working our way up the wall. Cool. Brilliant. It's a little bit more tricky because you're working on step ladders now. But the principle is the same. Just strike it into the void. Start here, there. Yeah. Yeah. Not too high. Give yourself some space and move the trowel up. Yeah. In that corner there. Taking back over again. Let the master show you how it's really done. <laughs> no. Well, it's a tricky first first outing for you. You know the walks so uneven. I mean, yeah, I've done stuff 
helping you before, haven't yeah, I? Of course you um, have, yeah. But uh, yeah, first time sort of doing this. Yeah, I mean it's quite challenging. It's heavy, yeah. heavy going. But uh, we've done yeah, a good job. Okay, not too bad. So it hasn't got to be cosmetic. It's just got to be nice and nice and strong. The wall. Yeah. So how's your foot now, Dad? Is it okay or uh, a bit sore? A little bit sore. Still, I don't suppose yeah. I'll know till tomorrow morning. Yeah, you still been walking up. about quite a bit, haven't you? Yeah, if it blows up like a balloon, you're yeah. back to work tomorrow, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that'll do for now. What we'll do, we'll come back in a little bit later, just give it a light mist, we don't want it drying out too quickly. It's quite porous, so, yeah. That's good, you've done a good job there, mate. Cheers, thanks. And also a big thank you to everybody that supported us by buying some merchandise. Can yeah. be found in welcome to Sean'sWorld.com. So t-shirts. Yeah, 100% organic cotton. Very comfortable. Great quality, yeah. Great quality, yeah. And of course the caps. Yeah, you've got the caps as well, <laughs> the tote bags and the mugs. And the mugs, so, of course. Yeah, if you want to help mugs, yeah. help out the channel and uh, get something back in return, I suppose. Yeah. Brilliant. Then uh, yeah. We'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, bye, bye for now. For now. <laughs>